Hey, how's it going guys? Tech Notice here, and today I want to show you guys how you can get an always-on display for your iPhone 10, just like the Samsung. Now, this can only be done on the iPhone 10 because it uses a brand new OLED panel versus the old LCD that came on the iPhone 8 and below. Now, with the OLED panel, the advantages are it turns off every single pixel except for the one that's illuminating right now. In this case, it's that little snowflake and the time and everything else that's on. The rest of it is completely turned off. Now, in my opinion, this looks exactly like the always-on display available on the Samsung. I'm not too sure why Apple hasn't already included this in the box with the iPhone 10, unless Samsung has already patented it, it should be coming out in the future update, probably iOS 12 as a brand new feature. Alright, and we're going to jump straight in, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get this working. Now right away you guys can see that this says double tap to unlock, you guys got the time, you guys got the date, and you got a little icon right up top there which makes it a little bit more interesting, however you guys can customize this completely, that's actually my personalized text. You guys can set it to whatever you guys want, but once you guys tap on it, a settings icon will appear right up top here, and you guys can change all the options within the personal settings screen. Now to get this, you guys want to jump straight into the App Store and search for OLED X. And once you guys see the screen, just tap download and install, and you guys should be good to go. You guys will see this brand new icon right here. Tap on it. The first thing you guys should see is probably the settings screen. And once you guys are done, just click back, and you guys should see the screen. However, if you guys want it to be a little bit more integrated into the system, you guys jump in side settings and scroll down to general and accessibility and scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says guided access now once you guys are here turn on guided access enter your passcode settings set passcode set it to whatever you guys want now with face id turned on you guys can see at the bottom it says double click the side button to end guided access with face id all right and once you guys are done with guided access just jump straight into the app and triple click the side button so once you guys have clicked the button three times it will lock the screen and you guys wouldn't be able to jump into any app unless you activate face id now before we activate face id to get out of this app you guys can move around and see what it does swipe up or down to change the brightness of the always on display and the settings icon wouldn't really do anything, it gives you some access to the always on display, but you guys are still locked into this app. Now to get out of this app, all you have to do is just be in front of the Face ID camera and double click on it as this mentions. And once you guys are here, it should say guided access has ended and then you can swipe up again. And if the system doesn't detect that it's your face, it wouldn't let you end the guided access so you guys would have no access to your phone, which is exactly like how the passcode system works. Now the other cool thing is if your Face ID doesn't work and you wanna give the device to your spouse, you can just triple tap it and this will lock it up and triple tap it again and it will give you the passcode screen which works just as well. All right, and there you guys have it. We have something a little bit more similar to the always on display that's available on other Android devices. And this should be it for this little video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and hit the notification if you guys haven't already. Once again, peace out.